important information when it comes to me in the country of South Sea. The very reason we are feeling the martial
hear your voice crying out while you lie in your pool of blood. They took your life away. Oh my, oh my. The land which should be your safest place turned out to be your fearful place. Why do we step outside and look? Evangelist, something don't go. This 
sanctuary, no commutuary. I love hills down to the youths of the land who stood for what was right, yet they took your lives away. Oh God, we are not living in a jungle. We are part of the human race. Sierra Leone, what's going on? Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, uh, you're welcome to this uh, discussion today. And uh, I'm sorry I was not here on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, it's just that, you know, when you are here in this country, you have to perform well and make sure you are well seated in whatever you're doing. And so, uh, even though I know my country is, is, is pivotal in whatever I do, I, I, I hold my country in high, you know, and I hold my country people in high esteem. And, well, I, I will not say my, my, some of my countrymen in high, and women in high esteem. Because you have a group of people I, 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 I don't want to even hear about, I don't care about. These are people who don't care about the sail unions. They don't care about them. So I don't want to, I don't care about them. I don't care what happened to them. Call me whatever name you may want to call me. But there are certain speck of that country that I don't want to hear about. I wish everything bad for them. I don't care how you call me. Call me whatever name you want to call me. But there are certain people I always wish that something bad will happen to them. I don't care how you call me. But again, as I said, I am sorry for not coming on Monday, Tuesday. You know, when you're in the diaspora, you know you have to make ends meet. And not only that, you also have to improve yourself, you know, and... Uh, you see, when you have something to do, especially such as exams and all of these things and work, you know that these are something that will definitely make you have a very comfortable stay here in this country. And so you have to make sure you put that one in parallel with what you're working for, especially in regards to my country. I will not say I will take you know, my work and my my career more important than what is happening right now in Sailor. No, I am not going to say that. I'm going to say I'm going to put them parallel, you know, on either side, you know, so that at least I know how to navigate on both ends, you know, and I, I'm, I'm going to do that because for this stage at this time in, in our history, in Sailor, in our history, for some of us who have lived long to see the entire rebel war, to see even before the rebel war we've seen a lot you know during the reign of papa Shaki, during the reign of momo during the reign of uh, 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 uh um who uh during the reign of tijan kaba during the reign of you know anes by kuruma and even now i'm gonna i'm not gonna call i'm not gonna call those, those uh, uh usurpers i'm not gonna call those people who came and stole stole the, the, the governors. I'm not going to call them because they are not significant at this point in time. Because they are not legitimate as we saw this legitimate government and president. But well, basically, we uh, want to ask ourselves some basic fundamental questions. We want to ask ourselves some few maybe questions that are very vital if really you know what they are planning for is going to succeed which of course i have my reservation i believe that it's not going to succeed because these people come with a plan i have told you time without number they came with a plan and that plan until they accomplish that plan nothing else is going to make sense to anyone i can tell you that I, I i i have seen it i believe in it i have worked with these people for over 18 years more than even 18 years so i know most of them 
I know I know their work plan. I know what they want to achieve. So there is nothing, there is no other thing they, they, they are trying to work on. It's just it's it's just it's just something, it's just playing with, it's just playing with words. It's like talking on one side of your mouth, but in secret you are doing something else. I the only thing I am going to say today is my topic today is this fight is for the brave hearted and not the weak. This fight is for the brave hearted and not the weak. If you're ready to fight this fight, especially for us in the diaspora, I have seen several people they have gone silent. If you are ready to fight this, this fight, this fight we are fighting, especially for us who are against bad governance in Sierra Leone. For if you are fighting this fight, I want to tell you that this fight is not a fight for the weak-hearted. This fight is for the brave-hearted and not the weak. And it's a tribute. It's a tribute to all of those who have laid down their lives for democracy. All of those who have laid down their lives for better living conditions in Sierra Leone. For all those who have given their lives to see other people live a better life. Maybe we want to go back to South Africa. All of those soldiers who lay down their life. I'm not talking about physical soldiers, no. I'm talking about those fighting for democracy. They are the ones I'm calling soldiers. I'm not calling them these ones who have usurped, who have given themselves. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about them later. Because I told you guys that I'm not going to accuse any soldier in Sierra Leone until I see proof that they are against the people of Sierra Leone. And I have seen that proof. And I am going to fight against them right now. From today, I'm going to fight against every forces in Sierra Leone. Because they are the enemy of the people. I don't care. You tell me I'm inciting. I will own that. I am going to own that incitement. The soldiers, the police, they are the enemies of the people in Sierra Leone. They are the people's enemy. Because if you're turning your guns since 2018... You're always turning your guns against the people, towards the people. Then you are the enemy of the people. I'm going to, I'm going to own that. If you call that incitement, go ahead. I am going to own it. Yes, I am inciting. Say it. Because if you sit down there and you turn your gun on the people... You profess. You take an oath to protect. Then you are the enemy of the people. You are the enemy of the people. So this fight. I am going to talk to all of us. Especially for me. My focal point is the diaspora. Because it is only our voice now. It is only the voice of the diaspora. That will make a difference right now. Because they, are, they have succeeded in silencing all the voices in Sierra Leone. And they continue to silence all of the voices in Sierra Leone. So it is now left in the hands of the diasporans to take this fight. All of the fights I've seen, most, a majority of the fights that have been won have been won by diasporans. People outside the country. Especially in a case like this when all those inside the country have been silent. For now, you only have one voice. One voice. I'm not going to put her in trouble. I'm not even going to call her name. Because she might be another target. You only have only one voice in that country. So, for you as diaspora, this fight is, is the fight for the brave-hearted. This is a fight... For the brave hearted and not the weak. A tribute to our fallen civilian soldiers. Those who pay the price for democracy. Those who were killed. 
Those who are lied upon. Now they are saying people are coming from Kamakui. You see, let me tell you, you don't know the strategy of the the first day, the president, when he was when he was making his speech, what he did was to what? Call all northern towns. But people demonstrated in Bo. People demonstrated in Kono. So I am telling you, they are working with a plan. And we are going to make some submissions here. We are going to make some submission here. I'm telling you, because, but I'm coming there, because we're going to make some submissions. They're not going to get away like they, get, they got away with the TRC. No, not this time around. Because now, social media is so is so open to everyone everyone can have ask, have access to social media so you're not going to you're not going to turn this table around because all we what we're seeing from day one is a blame game it is apc it is a uh, uh, european union it is the people of sierra leone it is even some of your own uh, 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 slpp power members because you've accused there's nobody you have not accused except yourself Accept yourself. There is nobody you have not accused except yourself. You've accused the American embassy. You've accused the, the European Union. You've accused... You have accused everybody except yourself. You know, it is rather unfortunate that the president of Guinea-Bissau came and had more fuel to the fire. And this morning I was just replying... To the UK, uh, UK uh, uh, representative, and he was saying, "Oh, well, the, the chair, I think, uh, had a constructive statement." Then I, I, I told her, "Constructive? I don't know about the English language now. I don't know if if if, if the English language has changed, but if it has not, you cannot call that man's statement." A constructive statement. Go to Twitter. If you go to Twitter, you can see you you will see my reply to her. You cannot call that kind of statement constructive, except the English language has changed now. I don't know that kind of English language now. You are talking, or you are listening, or probably because of his his his, his accent. Because if even me as an African, it took me some time to understand what he was saying. So probably you got confused. Probably. You, you, you did not take every word into, into cognizance. But if the way I took every word, you took those same words, you cannot say that man's word are constructive. Of course, you know what he has gone, he's been through. He's not even, he's not, he should not have been the person to send to Sierra Leone because his own country is in turmoil. His own country is in trouble. So how can you send somebody like that to come and mediate, adjudicate, to come and adjudicate something that his country is already going through? I, I, it's unfortunate. It, it's rather unfortunate that you have all these West African presidents, and that's why Trump should not have said shit whole countries. He should have said shit all West African presidents. Shit all West African president. That should have been the word, not shit all countries in West uh, shit all African countries. Did you listen to did you really really take time to listen to that Guinea Bissau president? What he, he said? It is rather unfortunate. It's an unfortunate statement. We continue to give tribute to our fallen soldiers. Our men and women, youth of that country, who have been dragged from their houses by Lai Lawrence Lima and his marauders, his, his death squad. He has become the what? Isaac M M M M Maliamungu of Uganda. He has become Isaac Maliamungu of Uganda. Some of you who know you were who were a little bit sensible in around the seventies, 
Some of you will know who Malia Mungu is. Lai Lawrence Lima is the Malia Mungu of Sierra Leone. And you are preaching peace and you are going about killing people. Innocent people. And you call that preaching peace. You know, sometimes I wonder, hey, when I hear from that Guinea-Bissau president, I, I wonder, are these the kind of leaders we have in Africa? Tell me, are these the kind of leaders we have in Africa? You would be surprised. People are saying, who is, who is that? Who is, who is that? I say he's one of the presidents in West Africa. People are surprised. They said, what? It's a shame for some of us coming from Sahel. It's a, Especially West Africa. It's a shame. It's a shame. For some of us coming in West Africa. It's a shame. That somebody like that. In fact, his country, Sierra Leone is better off than, than Guinea-Bissau. Let me tell you, I've gone to Guinea-Bissau about five times. I've gone all of the routes. I've passed through all of the routes. Guinea, I've gone through Gambia, I've gone to Senegal. Onto the Casamos area. I've, I've been, Guinea-Bissau, this is a place, you have a hotel, a hotel that is what? Mod, mod. Mod block hotel. They call it. A, I will not even call it a hotel. It's a guest house. I put up in that guest house a mod house guest house hotel. They call it hotel. Is that the kind of country you want to associate with Sierra Leone? A poor, a poor country like that one. Uh, I don't think we. Even if you go to the village, they said this is a guest house. This is a hotel. You will not see mod house. It is not a mod. This one, I'm telling you, it's a mod house. In the capital city, a mod house as a hotel. Guinea-Bissau. It shows, it shows that, 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 that this president in, in West Africa don't even take issues seriously. Is that the kind of president you are going to send to Sierra Leone? This is a guy who, who, has, been, who, who has been framed as, 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 a, drug, as a drug lord. And that's why he's, the, he's, the, he's a friend of the, 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 the vice president of Sahel. You guys don't know. Go and read about this man. Go and read about the Guinea-Bissau president. He's one of the drug lords in, in, in Bissau. And this is the guy. You, that is why they are supporting each other. Because these two countries are involved in drugs. Guinea-Bissau is another a drug route. And when I heard that they are friends, I said, no, no wonder. No wonder. It, 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 it's not surprising. This is a man who has been caught. Go back, go back and, and, and look at the history. He is one of those drug lords in Guinea-Bissau. And this is the guy you think you, it's going it's to adjudicate, adjudicate our adjudicate our issue. Is this the kind of person, a person whose country is, is, the, is the poorest in West, Af in West Africa? Guinea-Bissau is the poorest in West Africa. I guarantee you that. Even Mauritania is better off than Guinea-Bissau. I've been to, I'm telling you, there is no country in West Africa I have not been to. None. Name one. There is none in West Africa I have not been to. All of the West Africans have been there more than one time. All of the West African countries. Gambia, Senegal, and this. I've been there more than 10 times. These are countries I've been to more than 10 times. Ivory Coast, Liberia. I've, I've been to places like that for more than 10 times. But there's no West African country I have not been to because of my work. Because I was the regional representative for, West, for the entire West Africa for my organization. There's no West African country I have not been to. Is that the kind of country? A country, a hotel. I am not lying. I am not exaggerating. A hotel. Mod block hotel. In the capital city, Bissau. I put up in that hotel for two nights. 
I'm not joking. If I lie, you know, my ancestors, may, may, may they abandon me if I lie. A hotel in the capital city, a hotel, mud block. I don't think we have that in, in Sierra Leone. We're not, is that the kind of person you're bringing to Sierra Leone? Is that the kind of person you're bringing to Sierra Leone? A man whose country... This is, this is absurd. It is absurd. And when I saw the guy, and I know that this guy is a, one of those guys that are key... In, 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 in this uh, uh, drug trade, drug trade, he has a track record for that. And when I have that, he's a, he's, he's a friend of the vice president, it makes it worse. <laughs> it makes it worse. And that is what I'm telling people. When I tell people that hey, that route, I know that route at the back of my hand. That Guinea-Bissau route, I know that route like the back of my hand. I have been to all of the routes, all of the backyard roads. I have been there. You know, I mean, because I used to travel with vehicles that, that will transport stuff and everything, you know. And so they would try to find places that will not have a checkpoint. There's, there's no road in that place to go to Guinea. I have not done all of that those three countries. It's Guinea. Uh, Gambia and Senegal. I know all of the routes to go to uh, Guinea-Bissau. Is that the kind of country? Is that the kind of person to adjudicate our issue? It, 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 it's, it's sad. I am telling you, it's no joke. We are, we are in for trouble. I am telling you, we should as people now I, I depend we depend on us as diasporans and Sierra depend on us as diasporans because if that is the kind of man then we are in for trouble we are in for trouble I, I, it's no joke we shouldn't take this lightly we are in for trouble if this guinea bissau president is the kind of person that that is in, in forefront to adjudicate our issue then we are in for trouble Brothers and sisters, we are in for trouble. I am not joking with you. I'm not those guys who come to... Look, I have vast experience. And that's why I told you guys about the TRC. But now, you guys, it's beginning to unfold now. We, we are beginning to see. But let me tell you, I'm going to put some facts. I'm going to get some facts out. You know, now we are seeing they are getting those same people. Let me tell you. You guys, you don't know about people who are bringing... I, I see the, the interreligious council. I, we are in for trouble. I am telling you, we are in for trouble. They are going to do like the same TRC. I remember, if you go back to my feet, I told you guys about the TRC. The reason the TRC failed, is because there were certain things that were swept under the carpet. Certain people were exempted. Certain people were exonerated. They were removed. Because there are people who had already, they had already their own factions. And if they're going to make this, we are not going to allow them to make the same mistake. People had factions. So they try to, they try to protect their own factions. But then we have Jesse Ompa. Bishop Ompa was there. I'm just telling you, I told you I'm going to be calling names. I will call names. I'm telling you, I'm going to be calling names. Today, I'm going to call one name today. And as we go, I'm going to be calling the names of people who protected their own people. Protected certain people. I told you, I know more than people think I know. I'm just being very, very, very meticulous. I know more than people think I know. Because I've been very quiet. I don't talk. I don't, you know... I, I was that kind of person. I never wanted to come to social media. I am telling you, I'm that kind of person. I never wanted to come to social media. I hate, I hate that. But people think I know, I know more than you think I know. There were people who were there to protect their own people. 
And Jesse Ompa was one of them. And as I said, all some of the others have died right now. And some of them are in sick bed right now. Some of them, you know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You guys don't know what is going on. Did you guys see this Tamba Charles? Some of you don't know the kind of people who these guys are. T Tamba Charles is the chairman of the Interreligious Council or the General Secretary or the press. I don't know how they call but is the chairperson of the Interreligious inter 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 Council. You guys don't know who that guy is. He's a partisan already. He's a partisan. He's an SLPP. Everybody knows that. And this is one of those guys when they wanted to make a diocese in, Free in, in, in McKinney, in the north, for a diocese and a bishop. These were the guys who are pushing forward for a mandate diocese and for, to go to McKinney. Whilst they have somebody who is competent, who is qualified, but they're, they're pushing their own people to go there. This is a, this is a, a mendicrat person. This is a clansman. A clansman. These are clans people. You know, some of you, I have served as pastor. If I can count my, my years of ministry, uh, of my years in, the, in college, I have served of, uh, for 17 years. So even, I will count even 19 years. Because before that, I, I, I used to do, I used to be an evangelist. So some of these people, I know them. When I saw them, some of these people on that interreligious council, they know me, I know them. Go, go ask some of them. They know me, I know them. We have sat together on tables. Some of them we have sat together in college. We sat on the same, on the same chair to sit exams, to, 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 to listen to lectures. Some of us have been there with them. And they were the ones that were there today to see the president. And some of them have hidden agenda. They have sides already. When I'm talking, I'm talking on both sides. I'm talking of APC, SLPP, NGC, and all of these things. These are pastors who already are on sides. Are these the, the people you are going to... Are these the ones that are going to adjudicate our issues? We must be joking. We must be joking. If these are the people that are going to adjud adjudicate our issues, then we are in for trouble. We are in for trouble. These are guys who already took sides. Just like the TRC. Some of them already took sides. Now we, we, we are now seeing those Omar um, Fofana now. We know that now they, they are SLPP. You know, social media is now so powerful that look, one person will not do something like they did for the TRC. It's not going to happen this time around. It is not going to happen. We're going to talk about it and we're going to fish them out. Tamba Charles, he's not even, he's not credible. He's not credible. Tamba, Tamba Charles is not credible to stand and adjudicate Ceylon issue. He's, he's SLPP. If you don't know that, I know. He's SLPP. Let me pronounce it again. SLPP. Tell me I'm, uh, I'm inciting. I will own it. I am going to own it. Tell me I'm inciting. We would know who is inciting. Because this is all incitement. This is all inciting. Because what you have done, you have created a room wherein you have your own people to talk on your behalf. It is not going to happen this time. And that is why some of us are going to come in English. So that the international community know what is going on. We'll be around to, 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 to even talk about this. If they need us, some of us will avail ourselves. Because we know. I know a lot. You think, you think some of us are going to buy these things out? No, it's not going to happen. These are people who are S pure, pure SLPP. You have people there who are pure, pure APC. And these are the people you are going to, 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 to allow to adjudicate our issues. No. We want somebody that is not on any either side. And you don't have those people in Sierra Leone. 
Just like I said the last time, you cannot call me to adjudicate. Because I'm on the side of the people. You cannot call me to adjudicate. No. I already took sides with the people. You only need people who did who have no sides. I already I, I'm already with the people. So you cannot because anything you say about the other part of it, I will take sides with the people. The only time you will call me is when you are calling the two people to, 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 to sit them together. And this is where those interreligious people fit. They are also a faction. They are also a faction. You cannot, you cannot put them aside and say they should be a part of those who, who should adjudicate our issue. No, they shouldn't. They are not. They've already taken sides. They've already taken sides. So why call, as I said, I'm not going to talk only for SLPP Papa or APC. I'm talking on both sides. These people, I know them. Those who are seated there today, I know most of them. We sat together, some of them we sat together in college. Some of them we went to the Albert Academy together. Are these the kind of people you are going to put to adjudicate our issues? People who already have sites. You know, we're not serious yet. When we are serious, I will know that we are serious. Because what the SLPP Pauper is doing now, what this government is doing now, is to get people to galvanize people who would go to an international community and talk for them. That is what they're trying to do right now. So until you are sensible enough to know exactly what they're doing, you fall for this trap. This is a trap. If Salonians fall for this, this is a trap. You cannot fall for this trap. It's a trap. It's, go it's going to catch you, especially us, the people of Sierra Leone. That trap will catch us if we are not careful. Because if we begin to, to be so emotional and think that these people are, are, are fighting for us, they are not. They are not. All of them have hidden agenda. All of them. And that's why, you know, I continue to tell you guys that religion has not done anything for that country. But you continue to deny me. Religion has not done anything for Ceylon. In fact, what religion has done is to make sure, you know, we, we, we get so divided. Muslim and Christian. Religion has not helped us. It has never helped us. Even in politics, religion play another part to divide us. People know that. You all know that. And I, I tell people, if I'm going to lose, if I'm going to lose fans for that, if I'm going to lose people listening to me, I don't mind. If it is only one person that will listen to me, I don't care. Religion has never done anything good for Selium. And I'm going to say it. Until we change from this aspect of being clean to imams, being clean to pastors and everything, and they speak for us. No. Nobody is going to speak for me. No. No pastor is going to speak for me. No imam is going to speak for me. No. I'm, I'm old enough. I'm mature enough to speak for myself. The Salonian people know their issue. Are you going to allow this, this fake pastors and fake imams to, 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 to adjudicate your issue? All of these people, and that's why, you know what the president said? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if they were listening. If, he said even though these people are going to the mosque and they pray, these people are going to the church and they pray. This is an indictment to the church and the mosque in Sierra Leone. What the president said, I don't, you see, sometimes people don't listen. I tell people, you know, when I started this, I, I used not to listen to opposing views. But now I'm very keen to listening to opposing views. Because it helps me to make a judgment. It makes me to, to be able to, 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 to make some, some, some assessment and judgment on issues. The president said, these people go to Friday, they say they are Juma, they go to Sunday, they pray, hallelujah, amen. But yet, what is the problem? It is an indictment on the church and the mosque. It is an indictment to Christians and Muslims. Yeah, but not, not, not to kiss them, but it's an indictment to pastors and imams. It's an indictment. I'll continue to say it. Christianity 
Islam has not done anything for Sierra Leone. Or if I want to take a moderate, a moderate, uh, 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 probably uh, uh, side, I would say Christianity and Islam has done little for Sierra Leone. If I want to take a moderate stand. You know, so when people begin to talk, oh, this, oh, this, oh, I, I tell people, look, listen to me. I've been a pastor for over 17 years. If I count every other thing, it's 19 years. I've been a pastor. I have done it all. I've seen it all. I have done it all. I have traveled far and wide. I have preached here in the United States. I have preached in mega churches in the United States here. Texas, Wyoming, go to South Dakota, go to Idaho, go to uh, Atlanta. I have preached in mega churches. So it's not small churches like 100, 200. No, no, no. I'm talking about thousands. I have shared the gospel in those churches. One of the biggest Baptist churches in, in, in Texas. I, I have preached in that church. So, I am not a novice in the Christian domain. I am not a novice in the Christian domain. Christianity has not helped say alone. I'm going to say it. Let me lose fans. Let me lose people. Christianity and Islam, they have not helped say alone. They have not. Mark my words. They have not helped say alone. And you see these guys seated there, some of them, and, and I look at them and say, are these the kind of people that are going to adjudicate our issues? Are these the guys that are going to be the poor bearers? <laughs> that is, that is, we are joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. If these are the people that are going to be the poor bearers, It's, and there's this other guy who said he's the is the what general secretary of the tribal tribal heads in in Freetown, you know, and and this guy was standing there. You, you know, it, it's comedy. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but it's it's like comedy unfolding in front of our faces comedy it's a comedy we see a comedian in front of us he said this what is the general secretary of what the 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 the, 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 the uh, uh, traditional heads and this same person was the what the head chief of the mendes in the western area I guess you are you're beginning to connect the dots now. I don't know if you are beginning to connect the dots. He was formerly what? The head chief, the section chief of the Mende tribes in Freetown. And now he's the general secretary for all of the traditional leaders or traditional heads in Western area. I told you we're in trouble. At this, the, you see, the SLPP power power is beginning to handpick people that will talk on their behalf. In fact, for me, he is not qualified because he has made his stance already on video, on tapes that he is for this government. He's not going to be a person who should adjudicate our issue. He has already taken sides. Are you going to take that? That is why the TRC failed. The reason the TRC failed is because of people like this. Who has already taken sides? Are you going to include people? For me, the only person, the only person I see right now fit enough is Basita Michaels. He's the only person I can... I, probably you have your, your, your own person. But if you are genuine enough with your own conscience, with your own conscience, 
The only person in Sierra Leone right now fit enough to be in that position to adjudicate our issue is Basita Michael. Nobody else. Nobody else. I may not know everybody, but the ones I have seen, the why I have heard, she is the only person that is fearless. She's not, she's not afraid to speak the truth. She's not afraid if, if this faction is, 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 is actually the problem, she's going to say it. If this other faction is the problem, it's going to say it. But you as the general secretary of the tribal heads in, 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 in Western area, you already begin to ask for help. You begin to ask, oh, well, I know, well, uh, some of our, our colleagues are, are coming with keke, this and that, and coming with bikes. You know, I don't, I, I, we are not chiefs, we are not paramount chiefs, but you are beginning to ask for help. And you want to be, you want to adjudicate our issues? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time for us to be attentive. This is the time for us to be attentive. Listen to every word. I know some of you guys don't want to listen to the opposing views. But listen. I want you to listen to them. Because it gives you perspective. It is going to give you perspective when you listen to everybody. Listen to all sides. It's going to give you perspective. When you argue. When you make decisions. It is going to give you that perspective. Listen to everyone. I find it very difficult at first. I can tell you that when I started listening to opposing views, especially against the people of Sierra Leone, it's it difficult for me. But I took time to say, look, if I have to make a, a judgment, I have to listen to, you know, positive, negative, neutral. I have to listen to all and make my own judgment. How can you take somebody who has already started asking for, for help? He's asking for help from somebody that is already a party to something that will be adjudicated. He's already asking for help from that person. I'm just saying, I'm just talking to the international community. Because these are some of the things that actually made the TRC non-effective. These are some of the things. Because some of these guys held you know, some position in government, some position in some area, so they were afraid to talk. You cannot have these people be a part of the peace process. Okay, when we come to sitting, yes, they can take sides. They can go to the SLPP power power. For me, if I'm going to take side, I'm going to take the side of the people. Oh, yes. You cannot call me to adjudicate because you know, you already know my position. You already know my position. You cannot help call me. You, you need to call people who are neutral. People who can talk without fear or favor. People like Basita Michael that can talk without fear or favor. They look people in the eye and tell them the truth. These are the kind of people you are going to call. Not people who have already had, had sides. They already, they have already taken sides. And these are the kind of people you are going to call. To adjudicate our issues that you have the 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 the, the, the president of, of of guinea bissau who just came and just he just trashed everything he just aggravated both sides that was what he did and when when the uk the uk representative were talking about constructive statement from the ECOWAS chairman and that was why I said, I don't know about the English language now. Probably the, the English language has changed probably in the last few months or few weeks that I have, I'm not know, I don't know of. Except for that. But if I can read the English language well, if I can listen to the English language well, I don't think that is a constructive message. What it did was to help to aggravate both sides. Is that the kind of peacemaker? Africa has it's kind of the leader the leader West Africa has is that kind of leader we are we are boasting of when we talk about leaders ECOWAS leaders is that the kind of leaders you have in West Africa then we are we are, we are doomed we are doomed I'm telling you we are doomed if that is the kind of leader we have in Africa especially West Africa we are doomed A leader who comes in and begins to 
put more fuel on the fire. You call that a leader? <laughs> oh God, oh God. Uh, we made mention of Solomon Jamiru. I think I had a whole script on him. I told people that Jamiru is the only adult in that SLPP Pauper room. He's the only adult. I don't know if we've seen, we seen the best of him lately. If, 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 if he's been allowed to talk lately. Because I've not seen him. I've, I've, I've been checking on him, but I've not seen him talk anywhere. He's the only adult. He's the only one who, who has the, 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 the audacity to speak truth to power. Solomon Jamiru. He's the only adult in that room of the SLPP. All of them are, yes, ma, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, true, sir. Yeah, true, sir. What you say, so not true. Not true, sir. Yes, we'll go on with us, sir. These are the kind of people. Yes, ma. Yes, sir. You're telling me, you're telling me people like this is the ones that you're going to. No, no, please, please, please don't, don't even aggravate the situation because if you allow these people I saw on that interreligious inter council, they know me, I know them. I know their sites. I know the sites they were they are. Most of those people I went to school with them from high, from high school to, to college. I went to school with them. Ask them. You go and ask them. They know me. Are this the kind of people you're going to put? Are this the best Ceylon can offer? People who can be given 10, 25, 50 million dollars and they put it in their pocket and they don't care about peace in Sierra Leone. Are this the kind of people? I told you I know these people. I know them. I know them. Immediately call my name to them. They know me. Are this the kind of people you're going to put to adjudicate? Are this the kind of people that you're going to put for, I don't call it whether it's peacemaking or whatever. Are this the kind of people we have? Is that all we can offer? You need people who are neutral. People who can look people in the eyes and say, what you did is wrong. You, what you did is wrong. You, what you did is wrong. These are the kind of people we need. Not bootlickers. Not bootlickers. Not vuvuzelas. No, we don't need that kind of people right now. Call me inciting. I'm going to own it. If you say what I'm saying right now is incitement, because you are good at it. You are good at saying, you know, this is incitement. And you have people who like Alpha Saidu Bangua, who are the inciters, and you are not calling their names. These are people who incite people to violence. And you have a radio station, an entire radio station you have everywhere in, in, in Freetown and in the, the, the South and the East. You don't call those radio stations inciting. Unity Broadcasting, you don't call that inciting what they are saying there. You don't call that inciting. But when people are talking the truth, you say they are inciting. You know, I think we better go down to the, the, the word incitement. Maybe, maybe, maybe we better go. I like defining words. Maybe we better go there and see what the word inciting means. You know, I can give you that uh, if you want that. We can go there and, and look for incitement. What does incitement mean? Let me go. Let me, let me Google it. Trust me. <laughs> What is incitement? Let's see. What does incitement mean? Yeah. You know? Because sometimes, sometimes it's like it's like we we we, 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 we don't know the meaning, then we begin for thought. Listen oh. Look what in an incitement. The action, listen oh, I, I want you to listen. The action of provoking unlawful behavior or urging someone to behave unlawfully. That is incitement. So, if you are talking about incitement, is incitement coming from one angle or incitement is coming from both angles? You are more concerned about one angle. And you are not talking about incitement on the other angle. In which Alpha Saidu, Bangura, is coming to the here and talking about shooting and now they are going about Taking people from their homes, 
taking people from their houses, taking them to the street, killing them. And you call that, you call that good behavior. It is not incitement. That is good behavior. You have soldiers singing, Then why are, then why are, then go sabi we today. And it's, it's, it doesn't take two days. And they kill Evangelist Samson. And I told you guys the last time, I said, I am not going to include the army until I see what? Evidences to prove that, yes, the army. And this was, was a brigade officer in McKinney that shot. That was what the brother said. A brigade officer killed an innocent civilian. And you come here and tell us that we are inciting. Maybe you better go back and probably check your word. Check your grammar and look at the word incitement. I cannot say it's coming from, for, 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 it's not coming from the other end. Yes, it's coming from both ends. But just don't pay attention on one aspect of incitement. That is, you are only looking at the, the people of the people. You are only looking on one side. The, the incitement from the SLPP is not incitement at all. No, it's not incitement. It's giving encouragement. They are giving encouragement to people to go and kill other people. That, that, is, not, that is just encouragement. It's not incitement. It is just giving encouragement so that they can go and kill other people. And that's what we are seeing. You guys don't know what is going on in the villages. In Kamakwe, you don't know what is going on. They are killing people, people in Kamakwe as I speak. The last time I told you guys, but you guys don't believe me. When I told people that they are killing people in places you don't know, I, I'm having information from Kamakwe. They are killing people in Kamakwe. Tell me I am inciting. I am going to own it. Because that's exa exactly what is happening in Kamakwe. They are killing people secretly. And you are going to talk about peace? You're talking about peace and you are killing people, the same people who voted for you. And that was why yesterday I sent a nasty message to one of my relatives. They were the ones that voted for, 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 for you guys. And he was asking me to send money for him. I don't even want to tell you the kind of word, the kind of word I say to, 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 to that person. You are asking me to send money for you. You are part of what is happening now in Sierra Leone because you, I warned you guys, you voted for them up till now. Then you are coming yesterday and calling me here to ask me for money. Me? But they know what I told them. Or they know what I told them. Because they, they will never call me again. They will never, I'm not going to say the words I say here. I'm not going to say this is media. And I don't want all of you guys to look at me and say, hey, this guy, who's kind of guy this? No, because I was, I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. And the words I said to him, I said, go, you know, you know uh, I don't want to say what I said. Because I told, him, I told them to go to, 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 to uh, 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 Madabio. You go to Madabio to give you money. Not, not, my, not my money. You go to Madabio. Go to SLPP Papa. Go to them to give you money. It is not my money you're going to eat. And, and I'm going to treat all of them that way. All of them, I'm going to treat them that way. Every one of them, I'm going to, because I know all of them, I'm going to treat every one of them that way. They will never taste one cent of my money. One cent, they will never taste it. God, they are the reason why we are having what we are having now in Sierra Leone. They are the reason. Because I warned them, I told them, I told them the catastrophe. I told them the consequences. I told them what is going to happen. This guy, we have seen him throughout his years. We have seen him. We know the kind of person he is. And look at the kind of people. You know, he's bringing up those JJ blood. This is somebody who is being called JJ blood. You know, it's for nothing. It's for nothing they call somebody JJ blood. You don't know why they call him JJ blood. And you are going to ask me to send money for you. If I, have, if I have that money, I'm going to give those people who suffered. Those people whose people who have been killed. Those people, those family whose children have been killed. 
Some of them have no father anymore. Husbands have been killed. I'm going to save that money and send it to them. I'm not going to give that money to you. You, I knew that you voted for this rascal. You voted for this rascal and you want me to send money for you? I hope you are, look, I hope you are watching me right now. It is not going to happen. It is not going to happen. You go to Mother Bio and his chondrels, let them give you money. Go to them and ask them for money. They have it, they will give it to you. If they can give other people money, I think there is enough money to go around. Go to them, they will give you money. And I wish others would be like me. If your family members supported this kind of mayhem that is going on in Sierra Leone, don't send money for them. Don't give them money. And that is what I am doing. I will never, ever, ever give them those people until I die, leave this earth. They will never eat my money. They will never taste my money anymore. Because they are the reason. I, I'm just, I just feel bad because some of them have passed away. Some of them passed away. So, they, 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 but I'm grateful for my mother-in-law. That woman saw all of this coming. She's not alive anymore. She's dead. But she saw all of Because she was there in 1967. She knew what happened. She said, you people are making a big mistake. That was what my mother-in-law said. He said, you guys are making a big mistake. You know, usually they call me me picking. He said, me picking. He said, them people, I said, they don't know what in the do so. He said, they don't know. He said, then they asked some of us who be there, 1967, who would not get sense? He said, then they ask we. He said, then they ask we. He said, if they went and they ask we, we go tell them what happened in what, 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 what happened, 1967. Exactly, my brother. The more you begin to talk the truth in a salon, definitely. They don't you're not terrorists. They say you're not terrorists. But you know what? Una wait. This terrorist business, it go haunt we. You feel that five year business, this terrorist get for haunt we. But wait. Now when you see, then when I lead us and then begin go, then begin, then, then begin search them now. They're not going to allow them get like, like that free way in them with them they get today. Now they go begin to say, oh, what did they say? Oh, now, now, now they know what in the impact of this terrorist business. And when I say the Salonians are terrorists, okay, we go begin push down and then I say we all, even the government, the government now a terrorist government. We they push that narrative then now. And see now that you now want? Now that you now want? We now now want, we want for poil the country, now we all help for poil the country. Because that is what you want. For go call your own people terrorists. No matter how bad. These guys should not have gone that rabbit hole. For call your own people terrorists. And anybody will talk against you now, na terrorist. Okay, I don't agree. Me na terrorist. But I me mean, no say me, me, me feel say all and they watch her. And I make that tell you I want it. Me, me, me representative, you already know about me. Then they say I go there and no meet them and they say they can next week. Listen, and I make I tell people that me, I'm not afraid nothing. I get me gone. Yeah? I, 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 the second amendment you, we all know you know that you know that about the second amendment i have the right to bear arms i have the right to bear arms i mean i don't feel threatened i, I can tell people i i don't feel threatened trust me because i have something that makes me safe any side you go i deal with her i have something that makes me safe at least before you know, not like Salo where they go just go and gun you down. No, yeah, yeah, before they gun me down, hey, no, would they, would they, would they wrestle for us? You all gone, I all gone. You understand? Not to like Salo, no. yeah, you can no more. And I make the guy where they Philadelphia, where say they can, yeah, and they use born a phone, or well, try for call and the thing they go through. You understand? They can of Florida. I'm not hiding. I, I will never hide from people. Never would I hide. You come and come meet me in Florida, now, yeah. Me not to the one where they go and hide, I do. You know, I wait no one for no side and they. Everybody knows how they. Because you know what? If my own people are dying in Sierra Leone, 
I am should I should not be afraid to die. I should not be afraid. Why should I be afraid to die when others are dying in Sierra Leone? Some people are now they don't go silent in the media now. Social media, some people don't go silent because they are afraid. Not to some of us. Some of us will not be afraid. We know the issues. We know what is going on. So, when that guy, they go ask for help. You say, you go to begin praise the president. Oh, yes. You know the dimension so thick in my You know, say this one, na, na, na clansman. Na clansman, eh, na, 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 na edgy money. Na then edgy, na edgy money, man, de man. Na man, we, we, na, 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 how you call him? You know? How, how, I go name him like a Ku Klux Klan. These are those kind of people. They, this, this is a cult. The edgy money cult. Na they there all day. And I, I go tell you, as I say, many so many people in the no mix by this nonsense here. I, I have there are people who are very outspoken. There was a guy who came out this morning, very outspoken. He pressed the matter clinically one. He show everything where they go on, and he show in dislike for everything where they go on. So you cannot put everybody in a straight jacket. Not to all many people in. You go get for putting a straight jacket. And as I say, I give the bold people in. Yesterday, day for yesterday, they listened to the, 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 the audio with them pool. The peace audio with them pool. I tell you now, the Mende, I don't work with the, Mende, uh, with the, with the uh, uh, bold people in. The bold people in are very smart. The bold people are very smart. They are not, they are not like the Kenema people. Of course, you want segment, one segment of Kenema people in the day. But this has been in the afraid for talk. Even though they are Mendes, they are afraid to talk. Because the Mendema are not afraid for killing Kompi Mendema because of this culture. This SLPP cult. They're not afraid for killing Kompi Mende. That is how bad it is. I said it the last time. Some of them, they are in Kenema. They are positive. They don't like what's in the gun, but they, they are afraid to talk. Because they are in the minority. They are afraid to talk. Because if they don't talk, they go kill them. We don't see how much people they don't kill them. Who they are against SLPP? Who they kill? We don't see them. Tell me I am inciting. I am going to own it. I'm going to justify everything. Tell me I am inciting and I'm going to own it. So, so sometimes when you see some media people and they talk, this and that, now I don't begin to understand. Tell that be they say, if you don't have neutral grounds, well, you understand, eh? like, like what George Bush say, you cannot take a neutral ground. But sometimes now, I they forgive them one day, Yana Kenema, for taking neutral grounds. Because even if they not take, if they come up openly, they will be killed. Even though they are Mendes, they will be killed. I guarantee you that. The one day where they care about, they know exactly what they talk about. They will be killed. Because they don't left the court. That them believe, say, the SLPP in a court. And so every Mende person for them at that court day. If you know they day, then, 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 then the class you say you know to Mende. So some of them are afraid. Some of them are being intimidated. I don't know some people that wouldn't be forced for join, join. For make hypocrite no more, for make the knock them at the bad books of some of them people, yes. This BN I begin to see them people and they one or two people and send me a text. Langa langa text. I will not put it because I, I will show the person in, 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 in when they, one of them, two of people and send me langa langa text. When they say, no, no blame we because we take some of we take neutral grounds. No blame we. We will side the way we did. If we come out and condemn them, why are they going to kill we? That's why we don't mean the people. They go kill we. That was shocking when I get them two texts and they. Langa langa text there. Where they begin explain incident, incident there, incident upon incident. I was shocked. I was shocked that you can even kill your own brother just for a cult. You can even kill your own brother. So let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. It is left with us. For say this thing, we're not going to accept it anymore. Collectively, collectively, you the Mendema with the Freydianda, 
You the Timini man, we there and there. we feel threatened right now. You the Limba Loco, so so Madingo. Like some of us, we are connected to every me, eh, Mina, Mina Limba, Mina Fula. You see, you, you see me face, you don't see, you don't see the Fula man face by me. Mina Limba, Mina Fula, Mina Madingo, Mina Soso. I get all the, the trades here. I have all of those trades. I connected with, with Mende because my ex wife, my ex wife was in Mende. I got three picking there with her. So you see how connected I be. You know, so some of us don't go, some of us don't go be tribalistic. I hate, I hate the, there is, the reason why my, right now I'm married a woman, I'm married. So I, I am connected every angle. Every angle I am connected. I cannot be tribalistic to a, a, a fuller. Because I get I get full of blood. It is run me vain. I cannot be with them to, 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 to Madingo. Me call me granny to me, me papa sign like Madingo. I can I, can, I cannot do bad to, to Suso. Me call me, me grandpa to me papa sign na limba soso. My great grandpa na gini komoti can set to na that na usai set to so. I cannot be tribalistic. That is why it it, it ang and it get angry. When I see people they, they exhibit the traits of tribalism, it gets me angry. Because I know I am connected to every area inside my system. When I started this thing, I was so angry. Which Mende people, eh? but when I begin to get some some women from Mende people, and then they, some they text me, then they talk with me. You know the anger begin. You know that is why I told you people, the Mende people, then are they able for solve this problem? But when all they shy away from, when all they take side, now when they send them bad bad texts, eh? then they say so when they go kill that young man, Evangelist Samson. This was a peaceful guy. I have listened to most of him tapes. Eh? This guy was not an inciter. No. Go back and listen to him tips him. We don't even talk about Alpha Saidu. One of the greatest inciters in a saloon. Alpha Saidu Bangura. Nobody's talking about Evangelist Samson. They talk about in party. And they talk about the issues. Just because you get somebody in an APC, we feel this gun tool, we feel say if they take in space. So, you know, that time that they happen now. Now, elimination of the fittest. That is what is happening right now. Now, APC person and caused the death of Evangelist Samson. APC person. Now, pull him out. Now, give him out. So, how about that? How about that? An APC person. What you make a leg the SLPP, they will never do it. They will never sell their their, 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 their own person. They will never do it. When Lima been get a problem, we go make confusion away and we arrest her. They, they were all there for him. Now only APC, you they see people there, then they fight against them, they sell, to the point of uh, 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 causing the death of somebody. Now only inside APC, you they see them here they happen. Bro, you cannot settle your issues until you make that person they go to a grave. No, you cannot. You guys cannot bear one another until you send that person they to a grave. Is that the way our APC don't they now? You see what you make at the tell when I say salon salon are only independent candidates go able for go able for make life better for people in another country. Eh? And I strongly deal with that. It is only an independent candidate that's alone. If we in the diaspora are able to support independent candidacy, we should. These parties have failed us. Both of them have failed, Selenians. Let me say, what, 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 why should somebody's, why, why, it's, it's sad.
Una they compete for 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 the party. Yes, it's competition. Yes, you can make your com competition attractive. You can make your competition. You know, you know, enough for bleed to death. Should it lead to death of somebody? Just for prove your point. Just for make a boss say yes. I don't. I, I don't eliminate her. It is unfortunate that the party they eliminate in young people eh, through the hands of the SLPP soldier soldier so, soldier squad death squad the Maliamungu the Maliamungu death squad that is how I'm going to be calling them the Maliamungu Isaac Maliamungu death squad has it come to that that your own brother from the same party you have to eliminate that brother of yours just to prove a point. And now they go and deny, say no to him, in this and that, that, that. People know the facts. The wife knows the facts. The brother knows the facts. Friends know the facts. Now you call the man. Because you don't make plan for the man, you, don't, you call the man. Let the man come. So that he can lead to in death. Her me. Some deaths today we don't happen as alone, especially this one we happen the tenth. Death not they do me. In fact, during the war, death not they do me nothing. I know they afraid death. Trust me. Now that make me my man not grieve and go at me. Now me and then why are me and Indy mother be now we all be for go together. Now we all. My mama say nothing. My mama refuse. He said I know they go. Now we all before don't go that same year day. My mama say no. He said, Sabi, you, you know the free die. One thing about you, you know the free die. You know the free, you don't get fear. You don't get fear for nothing. Man, no, 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 grill go. Then bring the form. The form. Now other person, now other person will get for give the form. I don't want to call that person their name. Now somebody else, we gave the form to somebody else. My mother said no. May her soul rest. May her soul rest in peace. She said no. I'm not going to allow you to go. My father wanted me to go. My mother said nothing. He's not going. Because my mother know the kind heart to I get. I'm not afraid of nothing. So now the now the, now the target area and I didn't to go because I I don't get fear for nothing. I am not afraid. You know, during the war, I, be, I was elder scared. I was everywhere, everywhere. I they go to the rebel area, and at the east east part of Freetown, at the kind of the government area. I be, I was moving everywhere because I was looking for food. You know, during that time, I engaged myself, and that's why I'm very productive. I always look for opportunities. At that time, I look for opportunity where you know, I buy rest from that other end. I I come over here. I sell. I buy palm oil from over there. Oh, that was what I was doing. I was never afraid. I was looking for every opportunity, not bad opportunity. I was looking for, uh, for elevate me, me, me suffering. Because at that time, nobody was giving me. I was not having money from anywhere. I had to, I had to act a living. That was what I was doing to make sure I, because by then I had, I, had, I already had three children. During the war, I already had three children. So I had to fend for my family. I don't want my family to go star to starve. So I had to go over to the rebel part of the country, of, of the east part of Freetown to get rice, food, and come back over here and sell, you know, and make profit and go back. And that was how I was able to keep my family going. We never starved. There was not a day we never cooked. We cooked on a daily basis and even give to neighbors. If you go to number seven Main Street, they will tell you that. We'll give to neighbors food. I will give cups of rice to neighbors. But then, no, it was difficult. People, people are almost starving. That was how bad it is. I risked my own life. 
with somebody else will go. Another time we, got, we bought a bag of rice and the other person took, uh, had half of it and I was having half of it on my head. And I was holding palm, palm oil on my hand and, and the other person was holding like onions and, 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 uh, and pepper on the hand. And we were coming. I remember there was a time we met these soldiers. The government troops, they were going to us to attack the rebels on the other side. And we just, we just you know, spotted them on, the, on that spot. You know, we wanted to run and they said, hey, you, don't run, don't run. We are, from, we are from the government side. Where are you guys going? I said, well, we went to just buy food and we're going on the other end. That was to come and pa we were going through uh, Abacha Street, going to, uh, through Sackville Street and, you know, Godrich Street. And so they waited and they said, you guys can go. And they waited for us until we are gone. Then they, 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 they started the journey. But every one of us, we knew what was going on. Some of you guys were not even, some of you guys were not even born by then. You were not even born by then. So when we look at this aspect of these things going on, we know where it's going, where it's heading. And these people sat there for the TRC. They took sides. People like JC Ompa, Bishop Ompa of the UMC, took sides. And others, as I said, as I'm going, I'm going to be calling names. And we want to make that same mistake to call people who are already asking for help from, for, from the president. The general secretary or secretary general of the uh, uh, Western area tribal 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 leaders. Oh, and what he say? Hey, pa, that small thing self we give you, and they help we. Can you imagine? This is a person you want to head uh, what to adjudicate for us, and they are they are thanking. Oh, we tell you thank you. That's the way you give you, and they help we self small small. Are we serious? Are we serious in Sierra Leone to call people like this who have already taken sides? Are we serious? Are we really serious? You know? I would say, hell no. Hell no, we're not. That was why the TRC failed. The TRC failed because of people like Jesse Ompa. The TRC failed because of people who were, were very much you know, have taken their sides. They were protecting a specific set of people. That was why it failed. It is the same thing they want to do right now. They've already, they've already chosen those Mende people, those SLPP people, who will go back there and, and advocate for people like Lima, who have taken so many lives, so many lives, You don't know some of the videos some of us have seen. But you will wait. You think we're going to put those videos out? Nobody's going to put those videos out. Count on us. Those videos are not going to go out until the ICC is ready. That's us when we're going to produce those videos. Of Lima. The Lima you, are, you people are defending. That's us when you, you guys will know that. Oh yes. So these people had these videos. You, you'll be surprised. You don't know how social media has, has, has advanced. How cameras have advanced. Somebody will put a camera here, you will not know. Some of you don't know. Some of the things some of you have said. You don't know. People have put cameras on you. You don't even know. Every day, people think of strategies as to how to hide uh, something for you not to see it. So, if you think that, oh, it's only that my phone, you'll be surprised. You would be surprised. Even from your own people. From your own people, because they want to save their own ass. Because there are times when people would have to save their lives for you. They'll sell you out. And that's what, that's what some people are going to do. Just like Solomon Jamiro has started making his own, he's, he's, he's started carving, he's carving his own defense right now. That's what he's doing right now. He's already carved his own defense. 
And that is how most of these other people would do. They're going to carve their own defense. And they're going to sell other people out to protect themselves. Especially when they have a chance to be exonerated. They are going to sell you out to save themselves. And that's why I tell people, those people that are following Lima and other people, especially those Sojaton people, they are going to kill all of you before they leave. Mark my words. I wish, if, if you have a relative of those people I'm talking about, those Sojaton, they call Sojaton, they're going to kill all of them before they leave. Because they don't want anything to sneak out. They're going to get rid of all of them. Do, do you know why those people were caught in Rwanda? It was people like Sojaton who gave them out. They will ask, who gave you the command? And they will say, yeah, this person gave me the command to shoot. This person gave me the command to kill this person. So you guys are going, they are going to kill all of you guys before they leave. They're going to get rid of you guys. Because they don't want anything to show out. They don't want anything to go out. The last thing I'm going to talk about, let me talk about the civil society movement. These are the other people I, I don't think they, they, they should be a part of this negotiation. They're not, they are, they are not qualified. They don't have the moral standing to adjudicate this issue. They don't have the moral standing. All of them have taken side. They've already taken sides, the side of the government. You cannot bring them in to adjudicate. That was why we're going to say this. That was why the TRC failed. Are you going to bring uh, uh, Edmond Abu? Who already has a side of the SLPP? He has a, is a party carrier. Is a party card carrier. You want to call Andrew Lavalli to come? He's already SLPP. He has a card, a party card. Are you going to call people like, 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 like Asma James? These are people who are connected to the SLPP. Or, or Umar Fofana. You know, or Joseph Sano. These are, did, did, did you guys hear the, 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 the video or, or the, the, the audio of Joseph Sano? About three or four days ago. This is a civil society individual. I don't know how you call that. Is that is that not incitement? You are happy that Samson, Evangelist Samson was killed? You're happy? You're making those statements? You are a civil society person? I'm just talking to the international community. Are these the kind of people you want to adjudicate our issues? People who already have sides? Who already will be there to protect their own people? Is this the kind of people you are going to call to adjudicate? I'm just asking you, as, 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 as international community. We're just asking because these are people who don't deserve to sit on that seat. They should sit on the seat of the SLPP because they've already taken sides of the SLPP power. They have already protected that government. How can you bring them to adjudicate? How can you bring them? No, they are not qualified. This is not a responsible civil society groups. They cannot. They cannot be neutral. They are not neutral because they've already taken the side of the government. I'm just striking a warning because I just don't want it to end like the TRC ended. Because the reason why we're saying this now, social media is so spread out. These videos will be kept and they will come out and hold you as international community to task. Because we warned you guys. We showed you people who are already taking sides. You cannot bring people who have already taken sides to the table. They can be a part of the factions. The two factions, yes. They can be SLPP or they can be a, 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 the, the, the APC. They can be NGC. They can be, you know, a, a PPP. But you cannot make them as the judge. 
You, can, you cannot make them a judge. They cannot be judges. So basically, what I'm saying to you guys, you guys need to make sure this negotiation is watertight. Proof. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Who's it? What? FedEx? Oh, okay. Sorry guys, I just had a parcel. I hope it's not a bomb. <laughs> I hope it's not a bomb inside there. But I just got a parcel. Sorry for keeping you. But I think what we are saying is that I hope we as a people, especially for us who are in the diaspora, to echo, to echo some of these concerns. For us in the diaspora, we need to echo these concerns. These are not people we can rely on. I can tell you, these are people who have already taken side. Name me one civil society movement who, who have not taken side already. Name me one. Of all of these guys who are talking right now, oh, Andrew Lavalli, you know, Edmond Abu, these other guys, you know, Joseph Sano. In fact, Joseph Sano, he's, 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 he, he actually is a, he's a, he's a, he's a comedian. For the entire Papua, for the entire civil society, let me put it that way. He is the comedian for the entire civil society, Joseph Sano. He's going about giving monies, monies to people and everything, talking on behalf of the government. Is that a civil society? Is that the kind of person you want to put to adjudicate? Somebody who is a comedian, he already, in fact, they are calling me crazy, crazy uh, uh, Joe. That is his name now, crazy Joe. Because he moves about as if he's crazy, moving about. Well, these people, is that the kind of person? Are we that dumb? As are we that dumb? You know, the, civil, the, 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 the international community need to be. We, you guys have spent a lot of money to end that 10 year war in Sailor. You spent a lot of money. These are monies. That you will not want to go down the drain. In fact, it's going down the drain right now. Because the TRC failed. The TRC was not followed. And that was why we have a situation. And that's why I, I made that submission long ago. When people started making those submissions. I made that submission long ago. That the reason why we are having this reason is because people took sides. People like the, uh, Bishop Humper of the U took sides. They took sides already. We have why we're having what we're having today. Because if they had followed the TRC report, pin by pin, inch by inch, would not have had a situation like this. Because most of these guys should have been in jail. They should have been in jail. Mark my words. I'm not talking. I'm not talking with mouth on my on my mouth. I'm talking as somebody who knows. Most of the guys should have been in jail. Would not have had a situation like this. Because we're not to have a guy like this who's been who's been homeless in the UK, homeless, sleeping from one place to the other until, until somebody picked him up. And now he became a president. He doesn't know the value of becoming a president because he didn't work for it. He didn't work for it. So he doesn't know how difficult it is. He was just given in a silver platter like that. That's just why he was giving. That's just why he was. He's behaving the way he's behaving right now. He was just given in a silver platter. That's why it doesn't. It, it doesn't value. It, it, it had no value to him. It had. It had no value.
because if you suffer for for that thing you would know how to you know you know how to navigate to make sure your people and listen to what he said i just want to bring you to what to what he said and it's so funny if you listen to his speech today i'll round up with that speech he made a submission he said what is it we are not getting right i'm surprised go back and listen to the speech what is it we i'm, I'm quoting him verbatim what is it we are not getting right mr president are you asking that question are you asking us that question or are you asking yourself a rhetoric question which you yourself know the answer already You should have answered that question, Mr. President. You should answer that question. Because it's a question meant for you. What you did not get right is to remove 10 people from the opposition. That was what you did not get right. You removed 10 people from the opposition. You bulldozed your way in parliament. Instituted a what? A speaker in the house. That was what you did not get right. Killing people in Pademba Road. Over a hundred people in Pademba Road. You took out all of the Mende prisoners out. So you knew exactly what you were doing. And you shot over a hundred people. That was what you did not get right. You killed people in Tombo. That was what you did not get right. You went to McKinney because of a generator. Lives were lost. That is what you did not get right. What about Lomley? A lady was killed. That is what you did not get right. You took a young man, LAJ, cut off his dreads, shot him with an un unknown substance. That is what you did not get right. And when people went to visit that young man, you imprisoned those people and sentenced them to how many years? About three years. That is what, Mr. President, you did not get right. When you begin to create the environment to rig the elections, that is is what you did not get right. When you begin to suppress people, intimidate people, take an opposition party to court with your influence, with your backing, that is what you did not get right. When you sent people to McKinney to kill Evangelist Samson, that was what you did not get right. When you took almost 90% of your Mende people, put them into offices and sacked all Northerners and Westerners, that is what you did not get right. When you took the army, replaced all of those officers with Mendes and sacked people from the West, Western area and the North, that is what you did not get right. So if you begin to ask yourself what you did not get right, that is exactly what you did not get right. You created the environment. You created the toxic environment. You started, you started the incitement. You and your wife. You to start the incitement in Sierra Leone. And that is why people, the international community need to go back and look at the original, a president who is making such submission openly in the media that the white people divided us into North east west and south and we further divided ourselves into what mende timini limba rio loco fula and all the rest 
And your wife came, your wife came and doubled down. And said only people who are in the SLPP are true Sierra Leoneans. Because I want the international community to know this. Who incited? Who were the original inciters? You know? And that is why when I was listening to the UK representative, I was listening to her and she was saying the, 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 the statement of the ECOWAS chairman was constructive. I reflect back and I, oh, I began to think. Has the English language changed so much that I, I, am not, I am not attuned with the recent happenings? Or the recent changes in English language, in the English language? Has English language changed so much that I'm actually not, you know, the meanings have, have changed? Because if you are saying that statement was constructive, because from my perspective, dissecting that speech, It actually angered both parties. In fact, it aggravated both parties. That was what he succeeded doing. So if you came out and said that speech, that statement was constructive, then I wonder how the English language has changed so quickly. Because I'm telling you, you guys are, you guys are, you guys are, you guys showed us English language. You guys brought English language to us. You guys will learn the English language from you guys. So if the English language has changed within these few months, we need to know. We need to hear. We need to embrace. Let Google. Let's go to Google. Give us the new ones, the new statement, the new meaning in Google so that we, we can always abreast ourselves with what is happening. We want to. We want to improve our English language. Because if the English language has changed, so meaning that those statements he said was constructive, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So ladies and gentlemen, what is next for us? This fight is left, I, as I told you, this fight is for what? The brave hearted and not the weak. This fight is for the brave hearted and not the weak it is a tribute to all of those who've laid down their lives for the good of that country for the prosperity of that country because how can a president be spending money as if his 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 it is his own money like you have bill gates you have Mike, michael bloomberg uh, when they're spending their money as if they, they, they worked for it, it's their money. But you are spending the money of the Sierra people as if it is yours. You, 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 you worked for it. And you don't want people to talk about it. This fight is left in the hands of the diasporans. They are almost silencing everybody in Sierra and they are, they are beginning to succeed in silencing some people in the diaspora. But not some of us. Me. Me, I can tell you, except I lie on my coffin. The day I lie on my coffin, that's when I'm going to stop. But I am not going to stop. I don't care what you do. Even if you put a knife on my throat, I am not going to stop. So there is nothing else you can do. So if I even give an example to myself. If even you put a knife, say, Edward, are you going to stop? I will tell you, no, I am not going to stop. You better kill. Because I'm not going to stop. So there is nothing else you can do that will make me stop. You call, you call it whatever. Because that's what you are doing to, 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 to intimidate people. Oh, this is an incitement. I will own it. I am going to own it. Call it incitement. I will own it. But my fight is not against any specific tribe it is against this pauper this pauper slpp regime it is not against southerners it's not against easterners no 
It's against a group of people who want to put the Mende tribe in a very funny position. That is the kind of people I'm fighting against. You know, and, and, and you see, one thing I tell people, you will succeed in gaining some people, but it will reach a point, those people again will say, no, this is the one for including me and this fair too. Now they know fair, they eat the money. Let them not include with the Mende people there, because now then they eat the money, they want for bring we can now. Let them they be saying like the people and they are against the Mende people. That is what they are doing. But a lot of Mende people are beginning to understand this. They are beginning to understand now that, hey, these guys, it is their fight. It is their own fight. They are enjoying the money. It is their own fight. Look how much they are paying them. And you guys are going and fighting for them. You see how much they are giving? Now you see, confession. Confession. You see? What the, 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 the uh, sexy general of the tribal heads in Western area. You see, that is why these people are not helping the, the Sierra Leoneans. Even you as a Mende person in Kenema, Bo, Pujewa, and all of these places. Because they are giving these heads. The heads are the ones that are enjoying the money. The leaders, these church leaders and these, uh, these uh, uh, Muslim leaders. These are the ones that are enjoying the money. And they are coming to you. To tell you to hey well hello let us make peace you don't know. that's why the, these people are not successful because the money is being bribed they're being given out they're in bribery they are bribing the leaders you guys don't know this they are bribing the leaders that is what they are doing the sexy general of the tribal heads say pardon that small thing self where they give we now they sustain we self where is the people, the poor people are suffering? And they enjoy, they are enjoying, they and their family. That's why they have, I told you the last time, that's why they are fighting. That is why they are fighting. Because they are enjoying the spoils. Oh, that small thing, hey, pa, that small thing, self, where you've been giving, and they sustain, and they help with small, small self. That is why they will continue to fight. Because they are enjoying the spoils. Everybody is enjoying in that leadership. They are giving to people. Even external people are enjoying. They have been paid. Now that make you know they see anything better. Because the bribery no more than they pay. They join the bribe people. Eh? When you wait just now, they religious leader, I always they talk to you just now. Now you wait just now, almost money you go see them give them just now. Not to me and you they suffer. You wait in a church. You wait in a mosque. When they go sit down by, they go talk to you on the back. When are they, they enjoy you? You wait just on, let you see almost money then go give them religious body then they. Let you see almost billions where they go give them just now. Let you see almost billions then go give civil society just now. Now people then they suffer. You, where they, inside that country they, like where that, that my own family say, call me yesterday, let, let, me, let me send money for her. But the word where I tell them first, let go to, let go to Mother B.O. and SLPP. Let them go give her money. Not to, not to me, they can't for can't give you money. Me, I will never. I wish every diaspora and town like me. I will never. Let, let die there with angry. Let them all die there with angry. Because that then cause what they happen to the salon now, that then cause them. They are the architects of what is happening right now. Because if they had not, this would not have been a part of, of our history. Now it is a part of our history. People were being gone down, broad daylight, gone down. Other people are watching. Other people are seeing. They are being gone down in broad daylight. Nobody, they are not even afraid. They are not even afraid. Then you are telling me, oh, send for me, no. Uh, things I want me now. But what do I tell her? You're not go ever call me again. I no go say that word in a year. What do I tell her? You're not go ever call me again. Because you know not go tell me for go. You, I, I, I suffer the pain force. Of the way how people are suffering there. I they suffer that pain day. If I get that money day, I they go give the one the way where they don't lost the loved one right now. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a fund where they say don't, don't open. We are going to contribute to that fund. Because I would rather give to that group of people than I give to my own family. When I cause this problem where they happen today, so that's alone. Now they all cause waiting the be so that's alone. Now they all. Because I want them. I, 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 I pleaded with them. I pleaded with them as family. I pleaded with them. No, 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 do this. I have a big mistake. Una, eh? We don't fed up with APC. We don't this and that. We don't make, make, make. This and that, that, that. Okay, we will we, we, try out that one. Well, they don't try. Now they kill you now. 
Now that they kill you now. These are people who voted for you. And you are killing them. There are people who voted for the SLPP. And now they are being killed. You are killing them. The same youth. They were the same youth that galvanized support. APC, Nogo, Shidoya, Angry Bokue. And these are the same people you are killing. Just because they, they, they demonstrated for their rights. They are the same people you are killing. Some of those people you have killed, they voted for SLPP. You're killing all of them. In cold blood. In cold, you're killing them in cold blood. Some of them voted for you. Those people out, they voted for you. They got just fed up with what is happening. The tribalistic tendencies. The one-sidedness. That is what they're fed up with. But they voted for you. And you are killing them. This will go down in history. No Sayalinon will ever forget this. I can tell you this. Your children's name will live in infamy. Your children coming will suffer the con. All of you guys who, you, who are doing this. This SLPP power People have taken down your names. Your names and your the names of your children will live in infamy. Your children will never succeed in that country. I can guarantee you that. They will never succeed in that country called Sierra Leone. Because they're all of their names. Go, you just continue to parade them, them, them. As 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 the ICC is parading his his, 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 his daughters. Just continue to parade them. They will not see any light in that country. Except you send them somewhere else. But all of you acting this kind of way in Sierra Leone, and you're all in this government, we are going to take all of your names. Your, your children will never, ever succeed in that country. I can guarantee you that. Trust me. I know the Sierra Leonean rift is resolved. I know. They will never, ever succeed in that country. Because what you have done, what you have done, will never be wiped out in history. What you have done going about killing people, killing people at night, killing people in the daytime, even when other people are watching you, you're killing people. That is how much you don't care about lives. That is how much you don't care about people. And these are the same people who voted for you and you are killing them. If you call that incitement, I will own it. I am going to own it if you call that incitement. But I'm just telling you the basic truth. These are the same people who voted for you. And you are killing them. These are the same people who sang for you. And you are killing them. These are the same people who praised you. And you are killing them. A young boy was just standing in front of his house. I'm not going to name the area. And you gun that young boy down. A boy who does not even know, he does not even have the, the strength to throw a stone. A small boy, he does not even have the hand to throw a stone and even hurt somebody. You gunned him down in cold blood. Right on the street in front of his house. Is that how far you people can go? Is that how wicked? Is that the kind of wickedness inside humanity now? Is that the kind of wickedness? You see uh, 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 Kamajos dressed in fatigue, in uniform, army fatigues, going about making threatening statements. Is that how far a government can go? Is this a government? Or... A, 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 just a, a, a rag, a ragtag, a ragtag uh, 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 individuals. Young boy, standing in front of his house, I was just shot like that. 
Have we that norm to, have we that norm to the reality of life? Are we that norm? What is happening? Are we on cocaine? Are these people on cocaine so they can just kill at, at will? They just see the people as if they are animals? They are dogs? They are goats? Are we on drugs? Are these troops on drugs? It is left for you to investigate that. Are they on drugs? Because if they don't have the conscience, if they don't have the humanity to know that this, uh, this is a young boy who cannot even hurt somebody with throwing a stone, you just conned him down right in front of his house. Are these people on drugs? You don't doubt because drugs is rampant in Selu. The vice president is a, is a cartel lord. He's one of the ringleaders. Are they on drugs? Nothing. Conscience is gone. The conscience is gone. It is just during the war we were told that people are just taking at a backyard where they have, they have a big, you know, a big a, a hole, the dog. And they will just shut at people inside the hole. Is that what is going on right now? Is that what is going on right now, ladies and gentlemen? It's, I wish I had the power right now. I don't know what I would have done if I had the power. If I had a God-given power, supernatural power, you, some of you know what I would have done. But how callous to kill a young boy of like f probably 13 years of age. Just gone him down in front of his house. Are these people on drugs? I might be thinking on that end. Are these people on drugs? Are they being given drugs to make them numb to humanity? Make them numb to humanity. They see human beings like dogs, like sheep, like, like animals. I think I'm going to stop here. But one hope I'm going to be given is that I said people will not be there forever. I always like for, to end my note with, uh, with hope. They are not going to be there forever. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. They are not going to be there forever. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Hope is coming. Prosperity is coming. A new dawn is coming to Sierra Leone. In which what happened will never happen in Sierra Leone again. This what happened. People like this will never, ever get a space in governance. I guarantee you that. People like this, even if I am dead, people like this will never come into governance. I can guarantee you that. They will never come in governance. After this, they will never come in governance. But those of you who are mourning right now, I want you to know this. Justice. Justice will prevail. Justice will prevail. Evangelist Samson's death will be mourned, but not only mourned, even if it takes 10 years, his death will be investigated. And those people will be brought to book. I don't care whether it's their grave. We are going to dig them. We are going to dig them out of that grave. And we're going to bring them to justice. I don't care if they're dead. We're going to dig them. We're going to, their bones, their skeleton. We're going to judge that skeleton. And we're going to burn that skeleton. Because this is the, a history in our country. 
Nobody will forget. We will tell generation yet unborn. You cannot, you cannot bring peace now and we forget about what you guys have done. You think that is possible? It is not going to be possible. I, I just have all. It is just a warning for those of you who have children, who have everybody in Sierra Leone, and you are a part of what is going on. In for these other guys, they will go in England. They will be in America. They will be in Canada. And all of these places, they will go. But some of you who are in Sierra Leone will stay in Sierra Leone with your children, with your wives. I'm just warning some of you guys. They're going to run away and go to England. Their children that might not come to sell you anymore. But I can tell you this. You will not go free because the people have seen what you have done. For some of you who are SLPP, especially Mende people, some of you who are going about in the western area pointing the houses of people, the people have seen. They know you. They are waiting for the right time. They know you. They are going to bring you to book. You think they don't know you? They think they have not seen you? They think they don't know that you are one of those people that are pointing houses? Even if you have a grudge between you and somebody because of your party affiliation and you are pointing them as a part of that demonstrator and you have caught their death, you think they will forget? They will never forget you. I want you to know that. They will never forget you. They will never forget you. I think the, 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 the war in Sierra Leone is an example. After the end of the war is an example. You know what happened. I don't need to, I don't need to reiterate. I don't need to repeat. But you guys know what happened. If you are going about as an SLPP or as a Mende man, or as a Mende woman, as a Mende child, pointing the houses of people. Remember that your house will be also the next to be pointed when that come when that time comes i just want you to be aware of that i just want you to know that because that time will come when people will rock reckon with you they will reckon with you because you cost the lives of their loved ones you sold the lives of their loved ones because of grudge or party affiliation. I told you the last time, if we are not careful, I told you, you Mende people, you are the ones that is going to end this one. You are supposed, you are supposed to be the ones. Had it not been for these two guys who wrote me that lengthy, lengthy explaining certain things, you know, it, 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 it burns my heart when I saw what they were saying to me that, hey, don't blame all of us. Some of us are even afraid. Some of us are even a threat. Our lives have been threatened. Then I was able to understand certain things that is going on. So it is some of you that were going to come out and speak against this. That's the only way. That's the only way. You have the chance. You have the opportunity. You the Mende people. Especially you people from Bo. I know you are smarter. You guys are smarter people. You guys are supposed to end this. I see these other guys, especially this Secretary General of the Tribal Heads in Western Area. He is one of the inflamers. He was the one that is inflaming this thing. Instead of trying to get this thing down, they are the ones that are inflaming it. He is doing it because of selfishness. Because they know that if these people are no more, their livelihood is, will end. And that is why they are doing it. All of these guys that are doing this, it's because if this thing ends, their li livelihood ends. If trouble ends, their livelihood ends. And that's how they're going to scare up. They, every time they're going to scare up because they want to continue to continue to live under this dispensation, under this situation. But you, Mende people, you have the opportunity to end this. I will continue to say this. You have the opportunity to end this. I'm looking up to you to end this because it's an opportune time. This is an opportunity being given to you that you frown at this because if they begin to see that you are not supporting this thing, I think they'll be afraid that, hey, if our own people don't support this, then you should not continue in this. But if you are the flames, like those other people here, they are in the flames. They are flaming it because they are benefiting. 
You know how many thousands of dollars these guys are profiting? And you have some of these other people who are bloggers and social media, you know, they say they are social media giants. In fact, they don't take this thing serious. Some of them are even laughing. They are even laughing about it. Yes, they are laughing. Because it's all about money. They want money. It's not like us who are looking at the issue and be stressed with those issues. They are even laughing. They are laughing. At Yesterday I was, I was watching one. I don't want to call their names. They are watching and this guy was just laughing at the program. I said, these guys don't realize that there is something serious going on in Senegal. And he's just making it like this. It's funny. Is this funny? This is not funny. And you're making it as if it's fun. But the other guy, you can, feel the, you can feel the pressure in the other guy. You know that this thing is bothering him. You feel the tension in that person. I think that is what we want. We want people who can feel and can express that feeling. But you are laughing. You are, it's as if you are enjoying the thing. You are enjoying the show. You are enjoying what is going on in Sailor. That, that is when you, it's like you strive when these things are happening. You are laughing. You are enjoying the thing. And I applaud him for that. I really applaud him. The other guy, I, 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 feel, I, felt, I felt his pain. But I applaud the other guy. Because as if he was laughing about it. He was enjoying the fun. I don't, I don't associate myself with people like that. People who look as if this thing is funny, this thing is enjoying. I'm not, I don't look at this. It's not funny. And I told myself, I remember I told people, since we started this fight, I have never been to a party. I have never been to a club. I have never gone to the beach. How can I be enjoying and my people are suffering in Sierra Leone? How can I? Ask people who are here. In Florida, I don't go to parties, even to the beach. I'm just like six, seven, nine, the most nine minutes to the beach. I don't go there. How can my people be suffering in Sierra and I go to a party and enjoy myself? No, I have to suffer with the people. And I will not go, I will not go anywhere. I will not enjoy myself until I know those people in Sierra are free. Those people in Sierra I will not, mark my words, I have people here in front, I will never go to a party, never go to a beach, never go to anywhere to enjoy myself until those people in Sierra are free. That is how serious I am as to the fight I'm fighting. That is how serious I am. And that is how passionate I am about Sierra I will not. One of these days, somebody was calling me, hey, let's go and watch a game. I told him, I'm not going. I told you about what is happening in my country. You think I'm joking? I'm not going anywhere until everything finishes in my country. I'm not going to enjoy myself. Why is people are suffering in Sierra Leone? What is wrong with you? Your people are suffering right there. And you are enjoying yourself. Going to parties and enjoying yourself. Why is people are suffering right there in Sierra Leone? I will never ever go to a party. I will never ever go to a club. I will never ever go to the beach until I know there is peace in Sierra Leone. And that is why I'm going to fight. That is why I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure there is peace in Sierra Leone. Because that is what I want. If SLPP Power is for peace, they must bring to book all of those who have killed people in Sierra Leone. On both sides. On both sides. It's not only you're thinking about policemen. No. On both sides. Those who killed must be brought to book on both sides. And until that day comes, there will not be peace in Sierra Leone. There will not be peace. You think peace is one-sided? Peace is not one-sided. Peace is what? Both sides. Most sides must, most sides must feel that, yes, we, we, we have been, we, we're satisfied. Yes. Yes. You know, they've given us they've given us hope that, that peace is coming. But if you're only talking on one side and you're not talking on the other side, that is not peace. It's aggravation. You're aggravating the situation. Until my people are have peace in Sierra Leone. I am not going to enjoy anything in America. I'm not going to enjoy peace. Yes, I have I have I am living in a comfortable place. I have air condition and this and that. But when I'm talking about physical enjoyment, I am going to stop it. I am not going to enjoy until people are free in Sierra Leone. 
I'd rather have that money, send it to say alone, than go and make a party or enjoy, enjoy it in a party. If I'm going to be spending $50 in a beach, I'd rather send it to say alone. If I'm going to be spending $100 in a, 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 in a club, I'd rather send it to say alone. That is the position I have right now. I like football. I like soccer. Arsenal came. Arsenal came. I should have gone to watch that, that, that match in Orlando. I refuse to go. It's $135. I refuse to go. I'd rather send that money in sale. I refuse to go. It's, I wanted to go and see the club. I wanted to go and see the new club. I, I wanted to do that. But you know what? I would, I, would have, I would have betrayed myself. That is what I would have done. Nobody would have known. But you won't know what I would have done. I would have betrayed myself. Because I told myself that I'm not going to enjoy myself until people are free in Sahel. I would have betrayed myself. My conscience would not have served me well. If I had done that, I had gone to watch Arsenal. $135. And forget about my people suffering in Sahel. I would have betrayed my own conscience. I would have betrayed my own emotion. I would have betrayed everything I stood for as an individual. If we all have that conscience, if we all, if people, politicians have that conscience and say alone that, you know what, if I have this money, I'm not going to benefit myself. I'm going to benefit my people. If politicians have that kind of nature in them, I'm telling people will not have been suffering in say alone. If politicians are going to make a deal and say, if this deal does not favor my people in Sierra Leone, my constituency, my Sierra Leonean people, I am not going to be a part of that deal. People will live a better life in Sierra Leone. I'm not talking out of the bulls. Those people who know me in Sierra Leone, they know me. I never built a house in Sierra You know why? Because I was helping a whole lot. I was being paid $2,700. Those days, I'm telling you those days. $2,700. I'm talking about the 2005s upwards. I usually spend that money on people. I used to have 23 children I pay school fees for. Buy books, buy bags for them. 23 children. I'm passionate about people. I'm concerned about people. You know how many people I take care of here as I stay here? As I talk to you right now. There are widows I take care of in Salem. If politicians have this kind of nature, if politicians have this kind of nature that they put their people first, it's not about, I would have built the money that used to pass through my hand. I would have built more than five, ten houses. I can guarantee you that. Forty something thousand dollars every month. It's not my money. I have never used a single cent as mine. Never, ever. Ask people who used to work in the bank. I used to, I, 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 I used to, I, I used to save money. Ask them. On to a point where they wanted, they wanted to launder money in my account, and they would give me a percentage. I said no, no. What if the day you launder the money in my account, that's the day they have been caught? Then they begin to say, oh, now let's make this money. Let's make it every, every year they, drive, they, they change motor car. Every year. I used to change vehicles at least every two years. Ask those who know me. Say, I used to change vehicles every, at least every two years. And then people will say, oh, now let's make it a change motor car. Because look, nah, 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 nah. that is what people would have said. And I tell them, no, I'm not going to be a part of it. No, 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 no way. You're going to launder money into my account and you give me a percentage. I don't want it. How many people in Sierra Leone can say that? How many people can vouch? Look, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I am not. I am not a perfect individual. I have my pitfalls. I have my, my, I have my own pitfalls. You know, every human being. You know, but there are certain things I will never fall flat on. There are certain things I will not. Those who know me, they know me. Those who know me, they know me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend as if I'm perfect. No, no, I am not. I am not. It's just, it, it's just that money is one of my strength. Money. 
I don't use what is not mine. I used to take care of, when I came to America, I used to take care of a film star, an Hollywood star, very, very prominent star, old age. Now, I used to take care of him when I came at first as a caregiver. Money is everywhere. 5,000, this. I've never, ever, ever touched any money. Never in life. Before I left that job for, for something else, you know, after, you know, every, when you come to America, you have to grow, definitely. Before I left that job, they gave me a certificate. You know what was written there? Most trusted. Most trusted. From the company I used to work for. Money is my strength. Trust me. I can... I will not vouch for any other thing, but when it comes to money, what is not mine, I'm not going to use it. That's, that's my strength. I don't know why, but probably it came from my mother. Money is my strength. Nobody will get me to, 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 to use something that is not mine. I, I have strength in that area. My mother was, was key. My mother was key. May the Lord bless her soul. She's no longer alive, but she's key. You know, it's so easy. One thing I tell people, Ceylonians are so easy to take care of. Ceylonians are so easy to take care of. It's easy to, to, to stupid a Ceylonian. Sorry, I'm not, I, I mean no harm on that or that word. Too. What I meant was, Ceylonians are so easy to take care of. It's just easy to big fool them, you know. I don't know why politicians are not able to, to, to navigate that system to take care of Sahelunia. Sahelunia is so easy to take care of. Unlike when you come here or you go to some other African countries, you see how difficult it is. Sahelunia is so easy to take care of. I don't know why our own people are not able to take care of their people. Because they have these deals they are making to just better and, and, and improve their own life instead of the, the lives of the people. They have to make a deal inside a deal. These people are very idiotic people, these politicians. And that's why we are going to, after this, we are going to sensitize our people. After this, we are going to sensitize our people. We are going to sensitize, after this pauper, the people will know now what to do. The people will know now how. We are going to sensitize them to, to vote for independence in our candidates. Since you, you've eliminated us, because that was what you wanted. This politician, you eliminated the diasporans because you don't want them. Because you know they have the chance to bolt you out of that, or that office. So you, you carve out a way to eliminate them. Or you em eliminate us. But you know what? What we're going to do, we're going to devise another strategy. We are going to choose other people that will eliminate you people. We take you out of that political field because you don't deserve it. You don't deserve to be in that field. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here for today and I'm gonna come back tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm basically going to talk about sorry. I'm basically going to talk about Evangelist Samson. Uh, and I'm going to talk about some other people that you know deserve some accolade and deserve some heroistic messages that will bless other people's hearts. You know, I can tell you, uh, you've killed Evangelist Samson, but I can tell you there are more Evangelist Samson. You don't know. There are more Evangelist Samson that will come. They will come. I can tell you that. See, people, are, people have sacrificed to be the next Evangelist Samson. Some people might take that name. They might take that name, Evangelist Samson. You, you have created more evangelist Samson's. And that was what happened in South Africa. They took out people, but they, they, what they did was they created tens of thousands of more of that same person that they took out. They took out Steve Biko. You know how many thousands of Steve, Steve Biko came out? Thousands of them came out. That was what would happen. 
You took out uh, uh, Evangelist Samson, a thousand, more thousands of Evangelist Samson will come out. And they will show how crude you people are. They will show how ruthless you people are. And don't think that you will not be brought to book. Far be it. Far be it. Don't think you will not be brought to book. It, 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 you think it's 19, 1996 or 1995? Or 94? When you killed people, you butchered them. Some of them, they said you chop off their ears before finally killing them. You cut, you cut them by parts. It's not going to be, that is not, it's not going to happen this time around. You think it's, it's uh, uh, during the, the, the first SLPP era, the Tijankaba era, when you kill people, you even kill a pregnant woman. You know, they have done it three times. And this time around, it's not going to happen. All of you are going to pay the price for this. I guarantee you this. This fourth time, you are going, you see, let me tell you about Sierra Leoneans. These people have done it three times, you got away with it. Three times, they got away with it. And that was why they came. They said it's, it's going to be both case. But I, I assured them that this time it's not going to happen. It's not going to, people are going to pay the price for this. And they are going to pay that price. It's not going to be, they're not going to be swept under the carpet like what the TRC did. The TRC swept so many things under the carpet. It's not going to happen this time around. As long as there, are, there is social media, as long as there are people on social media, these people are not going to go free. It will take 10 years, but they are not going to go free. They're going to pay the price for what they have done. I'm going to stop here tonight. Thank you so much for being a part of this feed. Thank you so much for being a part of this discussion. Um, I'm grateful that uh, even though we spend that much time, you guys are still around uh, to be a part of this. I, I can tell you this, I am not going to back down. I guarantee you this, I am not going to. Nothing will, nothing will influence. I'm going to open this thing. So if it's a bomb inside there, you guys, you guys will be a part of it. You guys will see, will see what will happen. Because I am one person, I'm not afraid of not, nothing. I had a problem with my car, probably the past is here. So if it's a bomb, you and I are going to, you, you're going to have the impact. I'm sorry, well, I think it's, uh, uh, Start a, a, uh. oh, I guess it's not a bomb. Let me see. Uh -oh. Please bear with me because I want you guys to be a part of this. <laughs> So you would be the first to know if it's something that is harmful to me. You are the first to know. Where is it? I hope it's not telling me to open somewhere that is actually... Okay. Oh. oh, guys, my vehicle has a problem. It's a starter. The starter just came. <laughs> so it's not, it's not a bomb. Thank you so much for being patient. <laughs> It's not a bomb, so it's just a starter, you know. My car has a problem, and I'm stressed out this whole week, you know, because uh, the starter just went dead, you know, and uh, so thank you so much for being a part, because you guys would have said, oh, it's a bomb, but it's not. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you, and uh, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.